All right. I don't want to do this really, but some YouTubers are giving lack of information. Yes, opinion is opinion, but I'm here to give you a more sensible information. And after watching this video, you tell me if I'm making more sense. But first, what is my qualification doing this video again? I have over 60 IT certifications and it keeps growing. I started my career as a programmer, then became a web and Linux administrator, then a network engineer, then a security specialist, then a solutions manager, became a global IT instructor and traveled the world, been a hiring manager multiple times and helped thousands of people build their IT careers and help them move from their poor countries to the United States, Canada, Australia, Singapore, and UK. I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate, or JNCIA, Junos. I'm not a big fan of Juniper devices anymore. Why? Because they're not doing well in security, cloud, and data center technologies. But they deserve this fifth spot. Why? Because it's possible that companies are looking for network engineers who knows how to configure Juniper devices specifically those devices running in Junos or Juniper OS. Some positions are looking for the specific skills, like we don't care about your Cisco skills. We need Juniper skills. And take note, Juniper is still doing well in enterprise and service provider networking. On this specific certification, they talk about network fundamentals, routing, switching, and configuring Junos-enabled network devices. Next, Arista Certified Engineer, or ACE. We have Level 1 Cloud Novice, or Level 2 Cloud Associate. Now, not too many people knows this. Arista is the BMW of network appliances. Also, they have already entered enterprise networking and security as well. You know, giant tech companies such as Facebook, Netflix, Apple, etc. are using Arista. Also, cloud providers such as Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud are also using Arista switches. All right, Arista's technologies is the best choice for cloud networking and cloud programmability and automation. Here is the good news. It's very easy to learn Arista switches if you are already familiar with Cisco commands. Those command syntax and features are comparable to Cisco Nexus devices. All right, so Arista certification exams are hands-on lab. Yes, it's like CCIE, but done remotely. First, we have the ACE level one exam. It's more basic and it's only a two hour lab exam. We also have the ACE Level 2 exam. It's a little more difficult and it's a four hour practical lab exam. Both certifications focuses on basic of networking, routing, switching, but in spine and leaf architecture in both data center and campus network environment. They also talk about cloud networking and they introduce network automation and software defined networking technology as well. And if you want to learn more about Arista networks, kindly check the link in the description below. Next, Cisco certified DevNet associate. Believe it or not, they also talk about networking here in DevNet associate but it's more focused on open source tools, automation, and programmability. It's a good complementary, I would say. All right, many companies are starting to move to programmable and automated networks. So having the skill sets 
is a huge advantage if you want to start your network engineering career. It's just a little too broad because they talk about different types of APIs in many Cisco technologies. And they also cover Linux software tools as well. If you want to learn more about Cisco Certified DevNet Associate, kindly check the link in the description below. Next, F5 Certified Big IP Administrator or FICA. So F5 Big IP is the Ferrari of network and security appliances. And if you are knowledgeable and has the skills to operate F5 Big IP devices, you will probably get a higher salary than the average network engineer. It's a network appliance that resides in cloud and data center environment. It's an application fluent device that has tons of features. And to gain this cert, you need to pass two exams. First, the F5101 Application Delivery Fundamentals, where it covers basic networking, routing, switching, and many others. But not only networking, you know, <laughs> this is the fun part. It also includes a little of Linux, web applications, and F5 Big IP concepts which is an application delivery controller with load balancing capabilities. So F5101 is really basic. And after passing F5101 exam, you must take F5201 TMOS administration exam, which is focusing on F5 Big IP features. Network technologies and applications are still covered. Okay, so this certification is very in demand when you want to work with large companies. Cisco Certified Network Associate or CCNA It's the gold standard in network certifications. This should be your very first exam to take. And of course, it's the numero uno associate level network certification due to its popularity and all of the knowledge that you would gain. Most hiring managers and most IT recruiters always add CCNA as one of the requirements for network engineering position. The exam covers basic networking, routing, switching, wireless, and they also added some advanced technologies such as software-defined networking or SDN, programmability and automation, SD-WAN, and many others. But these are very minimal. All right, CCNA, unfortunately, is not enough. The best complement certification are the top two to five network certifications I mentioned. It's always better to know more than the basic networking and CCNA skills. All right, so after CCNA, you can go for CCNP and you can choose for many network certification paths. These are data center, enterprise security service provider, and collaboration. Maybe some of you would wonder and ask, where is CompTIA Network Plus? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't add any value if you are already a CCNA. All right, so here's the question. Who do you think will get a better opportunity? Who do you think will get more money? First, the guy who has a CCNA and Network Plus versus the guy who has a CCNA and F5CA. Or the guy who has a CCNA and Network Plus versus the guy who has a CCNA and Cisco Certified DevNet Associate? The answer is pretty obvious. All right, for hiring managers and network lead, it's very important for a network engineer to know how to operate these network devices, not just network concepts. And it's also a huge advantage to be familiar with hardware models and available features. Sorry, Network Plus skills doesn't help. Also, this is very important. Arista, F5, and Juniper, these are expensive appliances. And the more expensive those devices you operate, obviously, the more 